This is a brief introduction to Simulink. On the desktop I've opened the MATLAB window and in uh, the working directory uh, slot here I have placed a directory C slash demo in which uh, files will be saved. I've also have the folder here on the desktop by using new and then Simulink model I open this window here which is the window where the model will be created. Next, using View Library Browser, I open this window, which contains numerous blocks that can be used to create a simulation. These blocks are organized into headings, as listed here on the left. On the bottom left, I wrote an equation, which is the differential equation that I will implement in Simulink. It's a first-order linear time invariant system. It's also an approximate model for a brush DC model we have in the lab, where V is the voltage in volt, and omega is the speed in radians per second. In order to build a model, we can use these blocks here, um, and we will start from the commonly used blocks. So I click here, and what we can do is, is drag them from the list here to the window where the model will be created. The way I will simulate this model here on the left is by computing omega as the integral of the right hand side. So we will need an integrator, a summation and some gains. The gain block is found here, so I'm going to left click on it and drag it to the main window and we're going to need two of these gains, so I'm going to drag it again and as you see the name of the second one changed slightly to differentiate it from the first one. Next I will go down in the commonly used blocks and I will get a summation here. I will move and then a little higher here is the integrator. Now in the category of sinks, these are outputs of the system, I will pull out a block called two workspace. That, wor that block permits you to send a variable to the workspace and then view it in uh, using the plot command and manipulate it any way you want in MATLAB. In the sources, I'm going to find a classical control block here which is a step function. This step function is the function that we will apply to the system to define the voltage. So the next step is to adjust the values of these blocks and to connect them. The first block gives us the value of the voltage so I'm going to double click on it and change the term to 0 0.1 and the final value to 10 this will produce a step of 10 volts at 0 0.1 second. Next I need to create a gain of a thousand so I put a thousand I'm going to move this block here right next to the voltage double click change the value here in the text box to a thousand you can't see the gain anymore but you can what you can do is you can increase by moving the mouse over the corner here and then drag it until you can again see the gain of a thousand. Then to connect the blocks you move the mouse to the input of the block and drag it to the output of the previous block that you want to connect it to. The dashed red line becomes a solid black line when you reach that, that signal and then you let it go and it connects the two blocks. Then I'm going to move the summation since I'm going to sum a thousand times the voltage and then a hundred times omega. But there is a minus sign so I'm going to double click on the summation block and in that window I'm going to change the text box and put a minus sign. Then this gain I'm going to make it a hundred Again, slightly change the size so I can see the value of the gain. And then um, 
I would like to connect the output to the signal so to make the diagram a little prettier I'm going to right click on that block go to rotate and flip and then flip the block and this way the output is in the right place and I can connect it to the summation junction the result of this um, right hand side here will be integrated so I connect it to the integrator and then the output will be the speed omega so I'm going to rename the block to workspace to have the name OM for omega and I'm going to change the format here to array which makes it easier to manipulate the variable and plot it click OK and connect it to the integrator and finally then this gain of 100 is applied to omega which is the output of the integrator so I connect it to the output of the integrator I didn't quite get there so I'll do it again oh, well. so what you can always do is you can delete it and then start again and there you go now this box here on the top gives the period of the simulation uh, I have 10 seconds here but if you look at the system it has a pole as a hundred at a minus 100 radians per second which is a time constant of 10 milliseconds so this time is a bit too long I'm going to change the time of simulation to 0 0.2 and once I did that I can run the simulation using this green triangle which is the run button or play button if you like um, you see that I got a warning uh, if there was any error in building the diagram there'd be an, an error message this is just a warning and it's not really significant it just says that the default value uh, had to be changed uh, but the simulation still was compiled correctly and, and run so the next step we look at what variables are in the workspace so I type who and you see that I have the variable omega that came from this block and then a variable t out which is the time if I type plot t out comma omega and I bring the figure that opens up to the main desktop here you see that the simulation produced this result for the speed so a step of 10 seconds results in a speed of 100 radians per second in steady state that's because the DC gain of the system is 1000 divided by 100 so it's 10 the time constant here is supposed to be 10 milliseconds and if you took the tangent here and extend it you would reach the middle of these two marks which is indeed 10 milliseconds so we were able to uh, run the simulation, build the model fairly quickly using the blocks and get the results and the results are saved in the workspace so next what we can do is we can save this, uh, this model so that we can use it later using the command save as and there are two options SLX and MDL, I'm going to choose MDL and I'm going to name it DCM for DC motor and this will save the model so that I can reuse it later if I go to demo here then you, in the uh, content of the of the folder we have the file DCM.MDL if later I click on it it will open it in my lab and I can further modify it or run the simulation